Hey guys, it's Julie Salant. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I am your spiritual teacher for your life and business. And I wanted to make a video for you today that was a little bit different than the rest. And this is going to be for all signs, for all numbers. Um, because I know that a lot of you have been going through things that are very difficult. Things have been trying. We live in, I'm in the United States. I don't know where you are, but probably wherever you are, things are not easy. Um, you know, groceries are through the roof. Gas is through the roof. I think gas where I am is almost at $5 and that hasn't happened since I don't know when. So there's a lot of stresses on all of us to just live our lives, but it seems a lot of us are very frustrated. I hear from a lot of you that you're very upset, that you're frustrated. And, you know, this video I'm making because I had actually been through the ringer myself. And I always think that whatever I've been going through maybe will help you as well. So it's really a simple concept, but the whole point is to spread, spread your light, right? And spread joy everywhere, right? And by the way, before I forget, this is all, if you are interested in working with myself and my colleagues, this is all about you looking at the Brave Academy. There's also, this is a four month program. It is transformational. There's nothing like it on the planet. And I say that with a lot of confidence because there really isn't. You can't learn what we're teaching you in a book. It's how to be unshakable, how to know you're gifted, how to use your gifts to help yourself and others and to eliminate what you're going through, which is the frustration, the torment, the, I don't know why this is happening. I don't understand my gifts and all that stuff, right? So that you can finally get yourself in alignment, figure out who you are, what you're here to do, and then move forward so that you can help others. And, you know, there's a saying that um, there's been a couple of times in my life where, you know, things had gotten really dark and every, it seemed like every door had closed. And just maybe a week and a half ago, I actually was getting so bombarded with, you know, you're not doing enough and, you know, you're not good enough and all that stuff that we always get. And it got so bad that I actually was thinking of like quitting and just stopping. Right. And when that gets to that point for someone like me, and I don't know about you and hopefully you're the same way, but I never give up completely. Like I always can kind of give up somewhat and then I'll have a cry about it or, or move through it or whatever. And then the next day I'm okay. It's kind of like, okay, you only get a few minutes and then from there you got to move on. Right. So that happened. Uh, but this time I couldn't shake it. This time it was so serious. It was kind of just like nothing's working, nothing's moving. Right. And I kind of got this, you know, you're not good enough, all that stuff that you guys get to, to the point where it's like, you need to stop and just stop what you're doing because it's a waste of your time and it's useless. And then I heard, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn. And that was something that my parents had always told me. And there's been, I recognize that what I teach my clients, I actually had to live by, which is you will be attacked relentlessly and ruthlessly when you are just about to have a huge breakthrough. And I mean huge. I don't mean small. I mean doors are opening. Things that you really wanted to happen for a really long time or you've been working on for sometimes years, years, and you just don't get there, you get a little bit but not much, are going to start swinging open for you, right? So it's the divine timing. It's, it's because you didn't give up. It's because you kept trying. It's because you kept going. And the next day, things started to change. And it wasn't all of a sudden. It wasn't all of a sudden one day, everything changed and fell into place. But I can see over the last week and a half, things have been moving monumentally fast. And, but that's because I've put in four to five years of really hard work grinding, right? Every single day and never giving up. I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm saying that to inspire you because we all get attacked personally, professionally, spiritually, energetically, physically on any front. You know, there are the evil ones that don't want anything like anybody like us to move forward because we carry a lot of light within us. And the reciprocity is huge. If I shine my light and help you, you shine your light and help someone else. And that's how it goes. It's a domino effect, right? So what I wanted you to know is don't give up and shine your light. 
So if you're even being attacked right now, whether it's on a small scale or a huge scale, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is that you keep going. You don't give up. Hold the vision of what you really want to happen in your life, in your mind, and then start saying those affirmations, right? And I don't care if they're, they shouldn't be generic, right? And it just needs to be specific for you. Like, I'm so thankful that I make X amount of dollars each month. I'm so thankful that I have these connections that can help me and I can help them, right? I'm so thankful that my message gets out to people that really need it, that feel stuck and frustrated and unhappy and don't know where to turn. And they're at the end of their rope. And I'm telling you to hang on another day, right? And it's not easy and I'm not saying it is, but know in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit, that if you are getting this much of an attack, you mean something to the world. You're important to the world. What you have to say is important. What you're doing is important or what you're going to do is really a big deal because especially with the 11, 22, 33s, we have been here many times. You know what this is. I'm just here to remind you to be the leader that you are and I will lead you through this. We have tools in place that can make this so much easier for you. You don't have to struggle. I will give you the tools that I have spent and my colleagues have spent a lifetime and decades learning through blood, sweat, and tears that were not easy. No one to help us, but we want to help you because I know how bad it sucks to be in that spot where you're like, hell, I've done everything I possibly can and nothing is working. What is wrong with me? What is going on? There's nothing wrong with you. You're amazing the way you are. Take this and believe this, put it in your heart. This is important. This is the most important video I'll probably ever make for you guys because that's the essence of everything I do. You've got to believe you are special. You've got to believe you have a message and you've got to believe that there's so much good and light within you that you can shine out to the world and you will change people. You will, hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts. You will change people. You will change your own life. You have to be the leader that you are and walk in this stuff and show them, right? Don't give up. I don't care if it's been a year, four years, five years. And a good example of this is I was thinking about actors and I don't know why I got Brad Pitt, but some of you can love him, some of you can hate him. It doesn't really matter, but he's a huge A-list celebrity, right? Huge star. And I know that he worked at like a chicken joint for a while and all of these actors that you see that have made it right, they're huge right now. For many of them, they had to go through a lot before they finally were discovered, right? And a lot of that is rejection. They try for this part, they try for that part. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. you're not good enough. No, nope, you're not right. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Imagine if they had quit. If they had quit, they'd be like everybody else who went home. I was like, yeah, I tried for a few years, but it didn't work out when not knowing that that maybe one next meeting could have put them at that level because somebody saw something in them and they were finally like, yes, I've been struggling out here for years, but the payoff is huge and not just the money, but because I believed in myself and I didn't let go. So I wanna encourage you, how do we do that Julie, right? I wanna encourage you to look within and know that you are an emissary of the light, an emissary of spirit, an emissary of God, an emissary of all that is, all the good that there is in the world, that's what you are. Leave the fear and the doubt and the crap behind and embrace who you are. 